with Josh Stone. And right now, we actually have an audience question from Ellie. Ellie, you have a question? Hi, I was just wondering, what's your most embarrassing moment? Oh. <laughs> I don't know where that was coming from. <laughs> My most embarrassing moment? Yeah. Okay. It's embarrassing. <laughs> okay, it wasn't that bad, but I was supporting um, Simply Red. And it was like my first gig, you know, I hadn't really sang anywhere really, apart from a tiny little club. And I was wearing this really long blue skirt and a black thong. And it was one of them stretchy things. And I wasn't wearing any shoes or nothing, but I stood on my own skirt and I pulled it down. And it was so embarrassing. I don't think anybody saw it, but I will never forget that. Oh, oh it was horrible. <laughs> black, you know, terrible. But that was it. That was a lot of honesty, eh, hey, Ellie? You asked me. Yes, yes, that, was, that was very good. Okay, now in terms of, before the before the video, yeah. we talked about rumors. There's a rumor that you might be dating Raphael City. Is that true? I'm not dating anybody. Okay. The only boyfriend I have right now is my music. Is the music? It's that interesting. It's music. Yeah. Music. Does that bother you when you see these rumors and you see things in the internet? No, does it that doesn't bother, bother me. It doesn't okay. bother me because Raphael is a beautiful, beautiful person. Okay. But it doesn't. That doesn't bother me. But um, the nasty stuff is just silly. Yeah. But no, I think it's kind of funny. You know, it's. Yeah. It, Makes me laugh. I guess some of it would be funny yeah. to read things about yourself that aren't true. You're like, come on, are you serious? Right. I'm okay. hoping this is true, though. I'm hoping because okay. one of the things I like about the album is it's not cluttered with collaborations. No. And the two you do have are very, very big ones, Common as well as yeah. Lauren Hill. Yeah. Now, I also heard a rumor that you hounded <laughs> Lauren Hill's mom to get her on the track. Please tell me that's true. I kind of did. I kind of did, yeah. Okay. For like two months. I called her kind like of, almost for two every months? day. <laughs> Really? I was persistent. Okay. You know, everyone was telling me I was crazy. Okay. And saying, you know, it's never going to work out. She doesn't want to ever sing ever again. And I just wouldn't believe it. So I had to prove them wrong. Okay. So I kept going, kept going until I had an answer. And what kind of answers? Because when I call someone, you know, you call someone one time, you call them twice, three times. You're like, I don't know if I can call again. No, and you, you were, can call. And you were you calling consistency. Something. Yes. If you want something, you have to go and get it. You can't okay. wait for it to come to you. And basically, I was just asking if she'd heard from her. And just every time it was, I haven't heard. You know, so I was like, okay, now I'll call, I'll call you back. Oh, okay, so she yeah. just wasn't around. You weren't no. hounding. No, she wasn't saying, no, go away. Okay, if she, if she okay. said, no, go away, I would have been like, okay. Okay. I but no, you... there was no answer. There was, there was nothing. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, that song ended up being great. Music on the I album ended it. up being a great song. Yeah. But as well, Tell Me About It is a great song. And the song's essentially about, I guess, guys. The guys not coming forward with their feelings. Yeah. Do they not come forward most of the time with their no, feelings? No, they don't. They're kind of um, wussy. I would say. Wussies. Yes. Wussies. Yes. Okay, but the thing is, it's tough for a guy because you really got to put yourself out there and sometimes it's dangerous territory. If it's too tough, then they ain't strong enough. That's a very, you, you got that before, didn't you? You had that ready no. for me. You were just waiting for me to it's say true. that. It's true. What about true. girls? Do you ever put yourself out there? No, no, no. This is the thing. My mom brought me up like this. You're the girl. And if you want to go out with a guy, you, you let him chase you. That's okay. how it works. Okay. It may be old fashioned, but that's just the way I, I am. So, either you're going to chase or you're going to say peace and love. Okay.